Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video, we're gonna go over how to use an AED on an adult and a child eight years or older. Now, if you are gonna be recertifying for your CPR class, or you're gonna be taking CPR, you will be learning how to use one of these. This is a sample one, it's a training device, and you will definitely encounter this. So I wanted to make this video just to help you brush up your skills before you take your recertification, and you can be prepared before you go to class. So let's get started. What is an AED? An AED, that is um, short for Automatic External Defibrillator. And what these things are, they are great. Um, whenever you're doing CPR, typically what happens is that the first person who finds the victim, they call 911 and they go get an AED. Or if you have someone with you, they'll go get the AED for you. And while they're gone, you'll be doing CPR. Now, whenever the AED arrives, you'll want to do some steps, which I am going to demonstrate for you here in a second. And um, what the AED does is it analyzes the victim's rhythm. And if the vi victim is in V-fib or pulseless VTAC, which are absolutely lethal rhythms, meaning that the person is fixing to die, this thing will shock it and hopefully reset their heart and they go back into sinus rhythm and come back to life because they are dying. And But there's some things that you wanna take in consideration whenever you're using the AED, which I'll go over here in a second. If the victim has a hairy chest, what are you gonna do? If you're, they're submerged in water or their chest is wet, what do you do? If they have an implanted device on their chest, like a pacemaker, sub or something like that, where do you place these pads? And um, transdermal patches, what do you do if you see a nitroglycerin patch or um, a morphine patch or something on their skin, how do you handle that? So the AED looks like this. They do look different. This is just one type and it has the green button is your on button. They are so simple to use. Like it tells you everything to do. You turn this button on and then it'll tell you to connect to this with your pads, which I'll show you here in a second. And then it'll say analyzing. And then whenever it's ready to shock, you will hit this yellow button right here. Of course, clear the patient and everything. And um, it just tells you everything to do. And you have different sets of pads. Now on adults and children, you want to use adult pads, okay? This is what adult pads look like. And on the little pads, they show you where they go. So it's awesome if you're in an emergency situation. And here's the little connector that goes in that port. And um, just I want to show you this because I am going to be making a video of how to use an AD on an infant. And these are pediatric pads on how you use them on an infant. So let me show you how to use an AD on an adult or child above eight or older. Okay, so you're performing CPR and your second CPR person has came back with the AD. You would keep doing CPR until the AD is ready to analyze because no one needs to touch the patient because it could cause artifact and the AD might think the patient's in V-fib and they're not in shock when the patient didn't need to be shocked or whenever the patient's getting ready to be shocked, no one needs to be touching the patient. So you'll keep doing CPR and then the second C person will hook up with the AED while you're doing CPR. And if you're all by yourself, of course, you would stop and you would use the AED. So we're gonna use the AED. The AED has arrived and the very first thing you wanna do is you wanna make look at the patient's chest. Remember those four things I was talking about. If they have a hairy chest, you'll, if there's a razor in the kit, some kits have razors, try to quickly trim the hairs where the patches will go. They normally go here and here, which I'll go over here in a second. The right upper will go on the right upper chest below the collarbone, and then the other one will go right here below the left nipple at the top edge, where the top edge of the pad, just a few inches below the armpit. And the pads will show you that. Say you didn't have a razor. Um, some AEDs come with extra pads and you could just take a pad and just rip the hair off and do that because you have to get that hair off if possible because if not, it might not deliver the greatest shock because that hair is acting like a barrier. Now, if the patient was submerged in water, you would have to move the patient out of the water because electricity and water do not go well together. You will get electrocuted. It wouldn't be good. And if there's a lot of water on the patient's chest, you can dry them off with a towel or something. Now, if the patient's in snow or in a small puddle, it's okay, you, you would be fine. Now, if the patient has an implanted device like a pacemaker or defibrillator or anything like that, it's usually a big lump in the chest, 
you can really feel it. You wouldn't want to put an AED pad over that. You want to put it away from it because the implanted device could stop the transmission of the shocking to the heart. It can mess it up. And also, if the patient had a transdermal patch like nitroglycerin or a morphine patch, any type of medication patch, you want to take that off and clean, just wipe it off because it could burn the skin and um, that wouldn't be good. So you get your AED, the very first thing you want to do is turn it on. So turn this it on. This is a training device only. No shock will be delivered. And it's just telling us the shock's not going to be delivered because it's training. Remove clothing from person's chest. And you would remove the clothing from the person's chest, of course, because you're doing CPR, so it'd probably already be removed. Attach pads firmly to person's chest, as and shown. In the back, there's usually some pads. And you're going to get your pads out. And this is going to go Plug underneath the collar them. And press it down firmly. Check connector and pads. And then put it underneath the armpit right below the nipple line right here. And press firmly. Check connector and pads. And then we're going to connect right here where the lock flashing button Check is. Check connector. Analyzing rhythm. Everyone stand clear. And everyone would want to be clear. So holler clear. Shock advised. And Charging. The shock. So make look Everyone shout stand shock. Clear. Shout shock. Everyone stand clear. Push the shock button. And you would say clear, and everyone's clear, and then hit shock. Shock delivered. Begin five cycles of CPR. And then you would get back on the chest and you would do CPR. And this little thing has a little chime of the rhythm you're supposed to go. You would do five cycles, which would equal two minutes, and then this thing would reanalyze and shock if that was needed. So that is how you use an AED on a child or an adult.